He has nothing left. He has nothing left. How many attacks have we, have we dealt? Hi, how's it going everyone? Today we are playing Ultra Turbo Miss Fortune. Okay, I know what you were thinking of. It's not MFO, it's Miss Fortune guys. I won't be saying that in my, in my channel. It's gonna hurt my air revenue. But anyway, for those who find this deck annoying and frustrating, they will call this a MFO, but this is insane. This deck is centered around Miss Fortune and this can level up misfortune very very quickly because we have a lot of cards that allow us to attack a lot of times and with that we can use our future cards to keep on attacking and keep on dealing 3 damage every single time because when misfortune levels up when our ally attacks we deal 3 damage in total even though this says deal 1 3 times which is 3 damage yeah so there are a couple of cards here that help us to give free attacks we have our defiant dance where you can blade dance that is one free attack here we have Irelia that creates a flawless duet which is a free attack card as well. I mean you blade dance right? And snap jaw, free attack. And you have Ribbon Dancer, free attack again. And you have Great Fin Hammers and Hired Gun combined with the least free attack. Of course you can have three the least but I haven't, I haven't found it to be super useful here. I mean this is a hit or miss situation but it's, it is still useful in some, some situations. And then you have Green Blade Duo to take advantage of all these blade dances. And then you have Blood Bait here that creates Snap Jaw Swarm, which is the same as this, that gives us a free attack as well. And that's and, and that's not just it, you have Lead and Follow. Lead and Follow creates a flawless duet which blade dances for two, and that's a free attack as well. So many free attacks. So many free attacks. It's insane. And and and, and hold on, there's more, there's more. If you combine lead and follow with snap jaw or lead and follow with ribbon dancers, that's even more free attacks. If you attack with snap jaw for free, you recall it, you have a flawless duet which is one free attack. And you have snap jaw, another free attack. I mean I, I lost count at this point. So as you can see from what I've explained so far, it's very easy for your misfortune to level up here. And this deck really focuses a lot on misfortune. You will want to high roll for her. Whenever you start your game in your opening hand, you want to try and get her. You want to mulligan for her for sure. Because this deck, every single card here supports misfortune. Irelia... Irelia is not the, the protagonist here. She's a side character as much as she has been the protagonist since the last meta and everybody hates her. Yeah, she is sitting in the back row now. So, yeah, so yeah, Miss Fortune here. Miss Fortune is the protagonist here. And all of these cards support her. Generally, how you want to play this deck is you want to get her early on, and then you want to try and draw for cards like you want to look for cards such as Twin Disciplines and Lead and Follow. Because these cards rely, this deck, not card, rely so much on Miss Fortune that you don't want her to die. Against deck that can deal 3 damage that has a uh, damp like burn spells. Queen Disciplines and Lead and Follow will help a lot in terms of trying to keep this alive. And as long as this is alive, you are good to go. Because you have so many cards here that help you deal so much damage. Because once this levels up, your opponent can't stop you at all. Because you just every single card here can deal extra damage, can attack for free, hence they are dealing extra damage here. Because these are all opportunities, free attacks, free attacks, free attacks, and once she levels up, essentially you are just giving your creatures, all your creatures here, the effect ability called deal 3 damage to your opponent's nexus. That's, that's just it, isn't it? Right? That's true, right? Yeah, so this is how it works, and this is Ultra Turbo Miss Fortune. <laughs> this person really likes Free Lord, isn't it? It's like Free Lord bot and or, 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 and a mono free out deck is amazing. I think I want to keep, um, not quite sure who, who am I supposed to target here. Okay, I think we keep, we keep this tree. Twin Disciplines will help us kind of defend against, against, like, I don't know, other creatures or other decks or something. And then we have our Blood Bait that gives us Snap Jaw. Okay, that's great. 
So let's go. We should be able to level up our misfortune pretty easily. And knowing that he doesn't have any form of removal, that's the best part. That's the best part. I mean, not really clear removals unless he runs like the Frostbite card that allows you to deal 4 damage if the card has Frostbite. Then that is... that's a form of removal I guess. Okay, let's get some damage in. I suppose we can bounce back our... We can bounce back our snap jaw. Uh, that's fine, right? Let's bounce back our snap draw. Go for one more time. Okay, now with that said, right, we, we, we need to save back. We need to bang two mana just in case he has another avalanche. Or else it will be way too dangerous for us. Like, it will be too much. Okay, that's great. Hmm, he's not blocking. Interesting. He's giving us free attacks. That's good. Okay, we'll take that. We'll bank our mana here. We should be able to level up pretty soon. Okay, let's... One more time, right? Okay, great. No regrets, no mercy. Nice. Submit to the cold. Submit to the cold. And let's bring this back. Let's go for another round. Oh, it's a Howling of Beast deck. Nice. Oh my god, this is Turbo Beast Fortune. It's just boom, 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 boom. Oh my god. He's dead. He's dead. He has nothing left. He has nothing left. And we have so much more to give. We have so much more to give, my friend. One more. <laughs> How many attacks have we, have we dealt? <laughs> oh my god. We could have went for even more, you know. It's like an infinite loop. We call, we call back the snap jaws and throw again. Hey! Okay, his name is... Okay, well that's awkward. Uh... Well, usually in this kind of scenario, we would want to high roll for Misfortune here. I mean, if we got Misfortune, then what is this deck about? Huh? Okay, that's pretty good. Usually, when I high roll, it doesn't really get me Misfortune. But we are in a good spot today, we are in a good spot. Yep. I'm still questioning whether the need is the least exactly that useful or not though. I mean it gives us a free attack, but Hmm. Okay, that's great. I mean now that we have this two, we get a guaranteed attack. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I think we should try and bank mana here. So that he can't kill us. Because we do not have any recall spells, so 
Should try and bank some mana here. I think our go to would be Blood Bait, and then you can do a Blood Bait now. You can do a Blood Bait, get a Snap Jaw next turn. Then turn 2, we bank the mana. Turn 3, Misfortune. And that's pretty reasonable, I think. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty reasonable. Pretty, it's pretty reasonable. Yep. Not quite sure whether is this game gonna be like every turn he's gonna rope me, but hopefully it's not. Okay. Uh I suppose we can do this. Hmm. Yeah, I think quick attack would be Aurelia would be good here. Or misfortune. Let's just go with misfortune here. Oh, nice. Okay. Oh my god. That's awesome. So at least we get a good snap draw next turn. I think we should be able to level him up like on turn... On, on level her out on turn 5. Yep. Turn 5 will be sufficient. And we should be able to cut him down pretty soon. It's like his deck is kind of weird, like I, I'm not quite sure what he's playing. He's playing this but there's no mushrooms and everything. Okay, let's just stick it. It could be a Gohard, infinite Gohard kind of deck. Okay, let's draw our snap jaws now. We should, we, should, we should be able to get like two attacks in next turn. Because considering that... um. Okay, okay, sure, sure. Pretty good. Yeah, so it's like we have Hired Gun and the Least, right? And we get the Snap Jaw next turn, so that's pretty good. Okay, so it was a Hammer Fin, not a Snap Jaw. Unfortunate. Okay. So I suppose what we can do is we can drop We can just drop a blood bait in our deck. And press OK. Okay, that's perfect. Let's drop a red fin hammer snout. Okay, I think since we are here, we can might as, we might as well just do it, right? No, but the strongest ally will start an attack, so that's kind of awkward. So let's just not do that. Yeah, for a moment, I kind of make the mistake. Okay, let's start with this. And then... We can go for Lawless Duet. Okay, so with this, we should be able to get her to boom, 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 boom. That should be enough. One more, one more. Okay, that's good. Now that we know that shh, there's no way for her to, to do anything here, right? I mean, if we start a free attack but we don't get the token. Okay, that's odd. Okay, okay, let's go with this first. Hmm. Yeah, let's start with this. Then one more, one more. I think we can consider going for a snap jaw here. So let's 
so this should level up our misfortune and then with Irelia's Vanguard's Edge we might just win the game let's one more time let's go for one more yeah it's here Pew pew pew! Bullet time! These are my streets. Are yeah. Let's go. And what we can do here is the most sick combo would be to be able to just use this to bounce back this to start a free attack over and over and over again. It's absolutely insane. Okay, we have all the pieces in our cards. We are good to go. This can die. I don't care. What is he doing? I don't understand. Let's start with this. And then we get another flawless duet. We have two free attacks. Two free attacks and that's six damage. 6 damage. Jeez. Ugh. 6 damage, man. He needs to block, if not, he, he's dead. And his hex call is just helping us draw more cards. Damn. One more. And we can go for one more, you know. How are we gonna do it? Oh my. Not so fast. Aha. It's, it's like, it doesn't matter what I do here, I win in the end because I have an Irela here and I have a Misfortune here. It doesn't make a difference to be honest. Yeah, go, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, we win the game. I mean, there's so many ways I can kill him here. And we draw two cards, you know. It benefits us more than it benefits him, to be honest. <laughs> He's gone. Uh... Let's drop, let's drop that here. He threw two, right? He threw two. But the go hard, right? The go hard, the pack your back is, is is five costs, so it's not enough for him. It's not enough. It's not enough. Let's go. So we deal 6 damage in total, we win. Turbo Misfortune guys, Turbo Misfortune. But you need to high roll for Misfortune, if you don't get it, I think it's kind of hard. Ooh, is this a reputation deck? Okay, okay. We have a good hand, but the question here is... You know, it's a Turbo Misfortune deck after all, so we need Misfortune here. Ah. Stumped. I think, right, we can possibly go for a mulligan for this tree, and then we can go for a 2 damage elusive. Yeah. Okay, this is good. We got misfortune. This deck really relies a lot on misfortune, because at the end of the day, a lot of the cards here, right? 
purely supports misfortune alone even though we play irelia yeah so even so without misfortune right this deck is just it's not as strong and and the fact that right now our hand does not have twin disciplines worries me a little flawless flawless duet will, will be a good card as well so hopefully we draw the those two because he can just knock him further us perfect perfect absolutely wonderful if you were to cast this now we can't really this would be useless right okay i think this would be a better choice it allows us to bank two then we have twin disciplines for our misfortune next turn and then we can cast green great duo if we cast green great duo now um i mean it's it doesn't do it doesn't provide as much value right it is the same as summoning Navalry Blade Scout because she don't get the buff we are not summoning any more creatures even better now we have a blood card so our blood bait will be like what like our snap draw will be what attacking for two okay that's perfect ah that's horrendous that's absolutely terrible. Let's just drop this then. Okay, we'll just block here. Uh, we will drop... We'll drop this. And then we will drop a blood bait for next turn. For next turn so we can get a snap. So we can get snap jaws. Yeah. Okay. So we will go with our misfortune here. So it might take a little while longer. Yeah. It will take a while. We might have to take some damage here, unfortunately. Uh, let's bang the mana. Okay, perfect. If if he attacks, we will take the damage here. I don't really care. We will take seven here. It's not really a concern of ours. I mean, the fact that we have twin disciplines here, it, it, it's it's amazing. Okay, let's go. In hindsight, maybe I should have just dropped this on the attacking turn of ours. So that we can deal more damage. We can deal we can deal out four damage here. I think that was a mistake for sure. But it's fine. It's fine. Uh let's drop this. Let's go for this. Yep, so we get a good trade here. And all we need is some recall spells, and that would be perfect. Now we could have dealt 5 damage here to be honest. Maybe I should just cast it all on this turn. Hmm, yeah. But it's fine, it's fine. No issues here. Let's go for this. And we level up. We are, we are going to do so much damage. It, it's not going to stop us. It's like even with the suboptimal plays, we are doing pretty well. The point is to just fire off. Just keep firing off. Yeah, we have superior bot advantage here. We have superior bot advantage. Yeah, we win here. Because this just shoots down every single thing here, right? Yeah, we are lethal. We won. We won. We won against this, what? Silver deck. Silver is really strong, right? 